How's it? Indian Cowboy, Rune Shiva here, coming at you on Friday, October the 28th, as we get this video to you. Have your free pick winner in just a second here. Your free pick winner today is going to be between Indiana and Washington in the NBA, and I'm also going to give you some thoughts on Atlanta and Detroit and Cleveland and Boston, so three thoughts for you today. I'm going to try to make it three thoughts for you consistently uh, for thanking you for taking the time to watch the video. YouTube Premium today is going to be between ECU and BYU. And also talking about Charlotte and Orlando in the NBA. We are on a 3-0 run with YouTube Premium uh, selections. We wanted the Mavs yesterday on Thursday on YouTube Premium. Spurs, Timberwolves over on Wednesday. And Coyotes, Blue Jackets over on Tuesday. So hopefully that will continue as well. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years. And Doc Sports has uh, been around for 52 years. And um, actually, uh, it's 18 years and 10 months Indian Cowboy has been around. And I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics, and that's how these algorithms work. And our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva or Indian Cowboy. A lot of other great guys there as well, so be sure to check them out. Our next best selections are our YouTube premium selections, where we give you two extra selections every single day. And our final best selections are our uh, is our free pick and leans, which we share with you on this daily video uh, every day. So you can... Uh, if. Uh, look in the comments section pinned to the comment section at the top is our link to the youtube premium channel as well as a, a link to get free 60 dollars for the free premium selections as well pinned to the comment section at the top uh and in addition to that be sure to check our twitter here for our consensus reports which are very popular uh, along with our trends on late night ball games our hot takes on sports and tons of other useful content especially if you're a sports fan on our twitter account so what's up in our neck of the woods well we have we won in the NHL yesterday once again. We I think we're on a five and one or five and two NHL run, and um, you know obviously you know actually I'm sorry we went two and zero oh in the NHL yesterday for plus seven hundred. So hopefully we'll continue to post another win um, as the Wild and the Stars both win. So we've had back to back winning seasons in the NHL. We've hit thir sixteen in a row and thirteen in a row just last year in the NHL. Uh, we posted plus thirteen thousand two hundred. Hopefully we'll post another winning season this year in the NHL with a three-unit selection in Pittsburgh and Vancouver. As it relates to the NBA, four-unit selection today. A uh, bit of a downturn in the NBA for us, but that will correct, and we were looking forward to the four-unit selection today, which will probably win. Looking forward to the baseball selection today on the World Series, plus 1,100 in the baseball playoffs, nine straight winning playoff seasons. Uh, you know, On the MLB season, we're sitting at plus 6,500, so a win today would be great. Uh, countdown to college basketball in 11 days. We're expecting to have a fantastic season on the college ball card. And I uh, can't wait for you to join us. The Football 7 selections released uh, yesterday. Um, our live show we gave for our YouTube Premium folks. Uh, I think we had about 15 thoughts on the live show, so be sure to check it out. It's a recorded podcast. We have a 7 unit on the Patriots and Jets. You know, we have a 5 unit on the Cowboys Bears, 5 unit on Kentucky, Tennessee. A total of 7 selections. Love the card. I think we're going to do great. I think it's going to be a great football week. Uh, we made some changes, and I think it's going to be awesome. So join us for football, college basketball, baseball, NBA, NHL, soccer, which, by the way, Thursday and Friday winners in soccer, uh, and horse racing as well, as uh, selections coming up on November 4th and 5th, and MMA boxing is on a 17-5 and five run. All right, with seven unit selections. All right, for your free play today, I like Indiana and Washington over in the uh, NBA. So if you look at this game, the line currently sits for Indiana Washington around 228 and a half. And I think this goes over. I'm going to surprise you. I think Indiana shows up today. And I know they are um they're one and four, but this is a prime spot for them to show up. And I, I know they're only a five point dog, and Washington is three and one so far. You know, you have a one and four team and a three and one team, but Indiana just got routed by the Bulls. 109 to 124, but that's not entirely Indiana's fault. The Bulls are coming off back-to-back -back losses. They needed a big win, so they decided to route Indiana, obviously. There is really, you know, the problem with Indiana is they have no dog on this team in the sense of a defensive dog, like a Patrick Beverly, etc. No defensive mentality, but they can score. They have that talent for sure. Washington routed Detroit 120 to 99 in their last game, and they're playing well off of a loss. They were coming off a loss, and they routed them, even though they were only a six-point favorite. Honestly, I was shocked to see Washington is only a five-point favorite here. But I do expect Indiana probably to be an active dog coming off back-to-back -back losses. And uh, I'm assuming more than 109 points from Indiana here. I think they're probably an active dog. I think they probably send this game over the post of total. They only had one bad quarter, frankly, against Chicago. And they put up 106 against Philadelphia, 124 against Detroit, 134 against San Antonio. So why couldn't they put up some points here? Therefore, I like the over today. 
between these two teams. It over sits around 228 and a half between these two teams. And do note that the over uh, is 8-2 and two for the Pacers when they face a team with a straight-up winning record. And the over is also uh, you know, 12 and five for the Wizards in the last 17 home games as well. Your additional leans today, I like Atlanta and Detroit under. These two teams just played each other. Atlanta's three and one, Detroit is one and four. Uh, these two teams just met and the Hawks won by five, but it was a tough game for the Hawks. They had to come all the way back to win that game. And the Hawks have the Bucks on deck, so they could be looking ahead. But um, I don't see the Hawks taking the Pistons lightly like they did last game, last time. I think actually think the Hawks win this game by more than six. But more importantly, I like the under here. I think the Hawks will play much better defense. The Pistons have the Golden State Warriors on deck too, so they could be looking ahead too. Um, these two teams just played each other. They know the offensive sets that they run. Uh, I think this game probably goes under the post of total. I think the Hawks step up on defense. I think this game probably goes favored and under, but I like the under more here in this game between the Hawks and the Pistons. Uh, I'll the Hawks, by the way, are 7-1 to the under after giving up 100 or more points in their previous game. And the under is also um, the under is also 5-2 and two in general for the Hawks in their last seven road games. I also like the under between Cleveland and Boston. You have three and one, you have two three and one teams. Garland is out consistently for Cleveland again. The last four have gone under between these two teams. Cleveland off of three straight wins and playing motivated, but Boston off of a big loss to the Bulls by 18 points. A horrible defensive performance by Boston, but that was because Chicago was motivated. You have a Celtics team that allowed the Bulls more than 120 points, but you know the Bulls shot 48% from the field and 49% uh, from three-point land, I think, and 29 free throws, which is just crazy. So I think you know, those elements won't work out for Cleveland. I don't see Cleveland shooting 48 and 49% and having 29 free throws in this game. I think this game probably goes under. I think Boston will play much better defense. And I think Cleveland is all about defense on their end as well. So therefore, I like the under between those two teams as well. And do note that the under, uh, by the way, I wanted to share that with you. The under is... 4-0 in the last four meetings, which I shared with you. And the under is also 8-3 and for the Celtics after allowing more than 100 points in their previous game. So there you go. YouTube Premium, I'll see you in five minutes. It is between ECU and BYU and Charlotte and Orlando. Hope you guys are doing great. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the YouTube videos, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day.